Feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy and today I'm going to show you how to put a photograph or some text, anything you like, onto a candle. Um, we're going to use tissue paper and it's just store-bought tissue paper. It's quite um, easy to get. You can buy it anywhere from the $2 shop or or uh, a news agency. Um, I only paid $1.20 for five sheets. So it's five sheets this size, it's quite big. And I picked up a, a pillar candle, also quite cheap from the $2 shop, and I got the white. You can get them in all colors, but I like it in the white because you can do so much more with it. So firstly, you need to be able to print either some text or a photograph and I've got a photograph here that I've put on this candle and this is the one that I'm going to be showing you today uh, you can use any photograph that you've got so I'm going to print the photograph on the tissue paper but there's first off you need to do you need to be able to put this tissue paper through your printer so I'm going to show you how to do that so you need a, a plain piece of white paper and you need to put your tissue paper onto the white paper. So firstly, um, you need to cover this white paper with the tissue paper. Make sure that it's neatly adhered to, especially around the corners. So I'm going to use some glue to stick that there. Now, in particular, you have to take note that these, the bottom corner, because I'm going to put this in the printer, that the bottom corner is very neat so that it doesn't get jammed into the printer. So I could glue that there and fold it over and that would be okay, but just take note of that, that that's the part that you put down into the printer. As long as it's not too bulky, it will work. So I'll put some more glue across there. And glue that down. Go all the way around. Now that I've wrapped up my piece of paper, that is ready to put into the printer. See, my corners are nice and neat. I can now put that down, feed it into the printer, and my design will print onto the tissue paper. And once that's printed onto the tissue paper, I can take the tissue paper off this piece of white paper, and it'll be ready to transfer onto the candle. So what I've done here is I've put the picture into Photoshop and checked what size I want it to come out onto the printer and that will print out uh, the size that I want it to fit onto this particular candle. So make sure that you do that. The next step is to cut out the design. I'm going to leave it on to the backing paper and I'm just going to cut around my design. First off, I'll just cut the outline. It'll be a lot easier. Because we're not going to use any of the background. I'm just going to follow around the beanie and around that shape. I'm not going to make it a square. You could if you wanted to. It's up to you how you do it. Now that just comes away from the backing and that is ready to heat set. Now we're ready to put the transfer onto the candle. You'll need some grease proof paper and that is to hold over the top of the transfer. You'll need a towel to protect your hand and a hairdryer. So we need to put the transfer 
directly onto the candle and what we're going to do is melt that on to the candle using a hairdryer. So now we've got that in place, just get a piece of the grease proof paper, lay it over the top, I'm going to make that really nice and tight. Position your transfer of your photograph underneath exactly where you want it because wherever you melt it is where it's going to stay. So make sure it's straight. Hold your piece of paper on top very tight. Walk your fingers around it like that and sandwich it at the back. So I've got it really nice and tight. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it. Make it nice and tight at the back. Got to sort of have a lot of things going on at once here. But once you've done that, that's nice and tight. Get the towel. Protect your hands. See what I mean by you got a lot of things going on here. You're trying to hold everything because you need to have a free hand then for the hairdryer. And just warm the hairdryer up and start melting the transfer onto the candle with the hairdryer. Don't need it too hot. it's doing a fair bit there so we'll have a little sneak peek to see if that's actually melted on enough and that's perfect all done and that's ready to go you can put some bling on it like this one here or you can just leave it plain like that. That makes a great gift for someone's birthday or Christmas or just to have it home. You can have it for anything you like. But they're so easy to do. They're a quick last minute gift if you need one. I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.